four plus food for apparently killing old people. I feel kind of bad about it, but hey, we need food for the event, one of the endings, so that's a really, really good start right there. As a matter of fact, this is a fairly good run thus far. Other than, you know, killing old people. You know, you scumbag falcon. I know, I know, but I'm trying to get endings, dog. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the old 60 seconds. I'm your host, the bird, known as Falcon, who's acquired two of the four new endings. We're back here today to acquire number three. And if you guys want to see more beyond this run, let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a thumbs up, and we'll try to come back for the fourth one as well, assuming we get the third one here today. I hope we do. I know what I'm looking for. It's all a matter of hopefully playing our cards right. Getting a little bit lucky too for this one, because this one that I'm trying to aim for right now requires a ton of food, is what I've read. Requires a ton of food to actually make it happen. You could trigger the, the ending to start working for you, but you need a significant amount of food to actually get the proper ending for that branching path that I'm going for here. So again, the first couple of days we'll skip. I'm also going with, um... Um, yeah, go ahead and uh, open that up if you want to. Listen to some music, assuming there's still music playing out there. Uh, I'm also rolling with, apparently, Timmy the Sailor Man, Spooky Mary Jane, Steampunk Ted, and my, my sexy milf of a wife rocking a Viking helmet, too. Which apparently is um, way too small for her head and hair. That's alright, man. You know, I kind of have that 80s little thing where I, I like women with big hair for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what it is. The bigger the hair, the better. Oh, this would have been a really good event if I picked up the... The gas mask. That's an easy two food and two water from supplies right there, which would have been so good. Oh, it really hurts not having a gas mask for once. I, I, I missed it on my run through the entire house, but oh well. Oh well. And in case you're wondering for water, obviously the number five, otherwise they die. We stumbled upon a weird signal when changing the radio frequencies. We're pretty sure that the layers are the voice. Um, Soviets? Not the, not the Soviets, not the Reds. But, um, we're going with water for day five and food for day seven. It's gonna be pushing a little bit, we might get sick along the way, but again, we need a bunch of food for one of these endings to happen, so... Uh, we were relieved at first when we figured it wasn't the Soviets we heard. Turned out it was Canadians! Hey, How you doing, mates? How are my Canadians viewer watchers out there doing, huh? I know there's a lot of you there. And I know you guys hate it when I do the A thing as well. Cause, hey, we're a fellow Canadians, eh? <laughs> I know you don't all do that, I swear. Um, day number five is gonna be water day for everybody, and, um, that's about it. We're not going outside, especially without the mask. Uh, Mary Jane keeps a diary. Oh, you know what? Last time I said no to this, I could have sworn I read in the comments that one of you guys told me that I should read the diary because it might lead to an ending. I'm not sure this is true or not, but one of you guys told me in the comments to read the diary because it leads to an ending. I read it. We managed to read the first sentence, then there was a darkness and pain, lots of pain. The diary is gone, let's never speak of this again. Um... Dolores was hurt. What, what do you mean Dolores was hurt? W she was hurt from what? From the diary? Yo, you don't get hurt just by reading a diary. What was it, like, vicious paper cuts or what? Oh man, I don't want to use that medkit just yet. Ah, I guess we gots to. I mean, the, the... The faster we use it, I guess we have the better chance of triggering the bug spray event to fix it up, sure. I mean, I, I want to keep her alive because she's one of the important ones to keep alive. That's unfortunate, though. The problem is simple, if we don't wash ourselves, we'll get sick. Seriously sick. Oh, good, of course. Um... <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna use the gunpowder for? I have no idea. Just tap it on yourself. A little bit of dabbing. Well, the, the bullets are gone now. I didn't want to use the medkit because uh, the bug because I want that for the medkit. At least she's in one piece now, which is fine. We have no bullets, but oh well. So today's gonna be food day for everybody. We said that's fine. Any expeditions can go out. Contamination too strong. Dude, not. This is like the first time that I don't pick up the gas mask because it's very limited later in the run. But here in this run, early on, we've had two events that would have been very useful. Number one, that that washing thing would have saved the bullets. And number two, we had the military drop. So the day I don't pick up the gas mess, of course, the good events for it actually pop in. That's just RNG in this game for you. It's always out there to troll you. Day number eight. Uh, nothing for today, I'm going to say. Skip forward. All right, we're good to go. Got to remember to give him water in day number ten, though. 
That's my Achilles heel for this game. I start getting into my conversations that I just forget when I'm supposed to give water and food, and then suddenly somebody dies. We took some timing. We took some time examining our map and found it had some abnormal symbols scribbled in a few places. It appeared as if someone had hidden something in the area and provided directions to it. I think this is a bad idea. But okay, it wasn't a bad idea because Timmy's back in one piece, which is good. So what do we get for this? Two extra food? All right, baby. There we go. We're turning it around now. Two extra food is really good. Today is going to be water day, so people get your water. Um, ring, ring. Um, that should be the hillside survivors, if I'm right. Let's send Timbo out there for that. I've sent Timbo out twice now, right? We should probably give him food before day 14. Let me read this thing here. Um, yeah, that was the Hillside Valley Survivors. Uh, Timmy, are you, like, starving? Nothing new to report on Timmy. Okay. Well, for some reason I thought you'd be, like, starving because we sent him out twice already. So next feeding day should be 14, right? Yeah, 14. Um, radioactive still out there. Alert! There is a gang of firefighters outside, or at least they were dressed like once. They've been banging on the door, ordering us to surrender all of our supplies. Um, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm not going to give you all my supplies, so I'm going to pop out and shoot at you, even though I don't have any bullets. Maybe just the sight of the gun alone would scare them off. We broke the gun, but at least we got their supplies, right? Which is a good thing here. Yes, sir, Bob. Hopefully they're gone for good. Timmy, are you are you good, dog? Uh, no, he doesn't seem to be, like, starving to death, so that's, that's fine. All right, contamination still strong. Mutated rodents. Oh, man. Would have liked to have the gun for that, but no more gun. I guess we'll fend them off with the axe. Luckily, the axe was enough to fend off the rodents. I was hoping we could kill a couple of them for some food, too, but unfortunately, it's not the case. Um, quite hungry. Some water for Timmy would be nice. I guess we'll feed you at day 14, everybody. Doesn't seem like you're going to die from lack of food just yet. So, 14 it is. Uh, we can't go outside just yet. Let's find out if hopefully the radiation is now gone. That'd be very good. So I don't got a gas mask, I can't go out. Fallout outside is mostly gone, very good. And today's gonna be feeding day for people, so... There you go, we still got plus two left over, which is amazing. Day number 14, you got your food in you. Um, as long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we'll have to leave eventually. Timmy had comics about those, so you know they must exist. All we need to do is make contact with the military. Yeah, sure, I guess we'll start opening that one up. It's not what we're looking for. But it can't hurt. Just to have it, they're available. Today's water day for everybody, too. The government's still around? Excellente! Now, where is that freaking cat at? We played a game of list of things you hate the most, and our neighbor's cat name kept coming up for some reason. I'm gonna say no to this one. I have had this event happen twice to me, and both of the times I've gotten, like, sick from it. So, I'm not sure if there's, like, a good positive event for that one, but every single time I've done it, I've had bad things happen, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip it for this time because we ain't got a medkit, so we can't take care of any illnesses anymore. Plus, when the cat comes around, we might get Ted allergic to it, so we have to send them out soonish too. Um, I gave you guys water already, right? So the next feeding day should be 21. And let's see, our supplies are scarce and our morale is low. You can almost smell the desperation in the shelter. We're pretty sure there's a small group of survivors nearby, mostly old folks in a retirement home. I know this might send some people crazy, but that means more supplies for us. And luckily, it didn't send us crazy. Did we get a lot of good supplies from this? Hopefully we did. Four plus food for apparently killing old people. I feel kind of bad about it, but hey, we need food for the event, one of the endings. So that's a really, really good start right there. As a matter of fact, this is a fairly good run thus far. Other than, you know, killing old people. You know, you scumbag falcon. I know, I know, but I'm trying to get endings, dog. Gotta do whatever I can do to survive. So, because we have so much food, I might give him food earlier than 21. Just maybe on day 20, we'll give him some food. Because we have extra food, I don't want to get him getting sick. And here it is. Here is our deal with Mr. Gatoman. So, now we have the cat. Now, at this point that we have the cat, the event that I'm aiming for is kind of a bit of a... luck-based. It needs to just trigger by itself. I don't think there's anything you can actually do to trigger it. So hopefully, um, we get lucky, because it's a fairly difficult one to acquire, is what I've read. So day number 18, nothing over here. On day 20, we're going water and food. 
We could use a bit more water for sure, but um, I think we're fine. Uh, with any luck, we could probably trigger some sort of event for water. Enough arguing, yep. Day 20 will get everything off. Timmy didn't say a word about it, but when he was outside, oh. He is going to possibly get sick. I could use the Fire Axe to hopefully cure him, but it also has an effect to possibly injure him. So you either injure him or you get sick. Sometimes he doesn't get sick whatsoever from that event if you skip it, so unfortunately this time around I wasn't lucky. He still got sick, but at least we kept the Fire Axe. And we need it because we have no gun now, so we need something. I'm sorry, Timbo. If anything, if you die, you know, that's one less mouth to feed, so hey, that's more... <laughs> that's more food for us for the events. I'm sorry, son. Even you're expendable, what can I say? Um, so water and food for everyone in day 20. Skip forward. Um, dancing cockroaches. We'll use the Boy Scout magazine, but it doesn't really matter. The cat will also take care of the roaches for us if I'm right. All right. Fairly good. Although we smashed them with that scout book, so that's fine. So next feeding day should be 27. I'll go back to seven days if I want to. Do I want to go outside? I think we should probably... Oh! Yes! Okay, so now we have fixed the med kid with the bug spray. And we can use this on Timmy if we want to. If we want to. Otherwise, I could hold on to it, and if Ted ever gets allergic to the cat, we could also use it on Ted. What we could do right now, too, is just send Ted outside. I think he's actually doing fairly good. Yeah, he's, he's good enough. I'm gonna send Ted outside right now, because the radiation's low. We got a flashlight. Sherikov is still a fresh addition to our little family, so we need to keep an eye on it. Um, the address on it. Yes, okay. So I think for one of the endings that I'm looking for, we do have to follow the cat. So, that's going to be step one. This is where we meet the scientists, if I'm right. But we're, I don't think we're going to go ahead and give them the water to request for. We're basically skipping the crazy scientist ending this time, which is what we got last time. So, yeah. Crazy old lady. Yeah, this is the one that I'm trying to aim for here. Really difficult to acquire them. Crazy old cat lady ending. Well, with Cherikov out of the bunker, we don't have to worry about Teddy getting sick, but still, I would like to have some more water saved up. So, Teddy boy, let's give you the old suitcase, let's give you the flashlight, and let's give you the map. And go out there, buddy. Bring me a lot of water, please. That's what I'm looking for right now. Some water would be nice. And Timbo, uh, I'm not sure about giving you that med kit just yet. I could do it, sure. Maybe we should do it now, and then maybe Ted comes back with a med kit. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. The army's on the radio again. They want us to mark stuff. That's fine. We don't We don't have to do that because we're not looking to get rescued by the military. So Timbo is um, in good spirits yet again. Day 25. Today's going to be water day. Sherikov is back. Okay. So, so far we're still on the right track. And the fact is that we're low on water. That worries me quite a bit. What's that sound? Oh no, something or someone is below us. It's reasonable to go check it out. How about using that manhole in the corner? This is this event requires a flashlight. Using the the fire axe could sometimes get you hurt, is what I remember reading. At least in the past, what I've had from experiences with it. Um, nobody got hurt. That's good. The fire axe is still there, and what do we get? <gasps> we got the medkit for it. Oh, baby! <laughs> We're having one of those times again where things are going too good that it worries me quite a bit going forward because I know something bad's gonna happen. I'll be like really pissed off then. Um, Timmy's been sitting there just staring into space. Uh, let's have a chat with him, sure. Um, by the way, I can feed you guys in day 27, right? Yeah. It doesn't seem like you're completely starving to death, so we're fine. Let's have a chat with our son over here. Ted's not back yet. Day 27, the cat just meowed. I should really keep an eye on those meows because that could be a, a sign for the ending. No, nothing. Alrighty, so food day today. A loud crash is a surprise shriek and a bit of debris falling from our ceiling. Truly a recipe for a good start to the day. Uh, this is going to be the one for... The G-Men. I don't think we need the G-Men branch to open up to get the ending, so we ignore that. Because that might get us in that, like, branching ending, and so we're, not, we're not going to that one. Ted's back. He ruined the map. He ruined the flashlight. Did you at least acquire water for me, dog? Because you ruined two of my really good important items over here. Oh, yeah, you brought the suitcase back. Oh, how about that? Anything else happen over here? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Nope. So we got two water. That's that's cool. 
We traded two water for a flashlight and the map. Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not really too crazy about it. Aren't we supposed to give, like, Ted water today? Because we sent him out? It doesn't say anything about water, though. I think I sent them out before we gave water away, if I'm right. Um, we just gave water on day 25. I don't think you can make it to day 30. So I'm gonna give... No, no, no. Don't do that. Let me just give you the water that you're owed. And you're also owed some food. Yeah. Let's just take care of that so I don't forget he, he goes out of, like, a schedule and then I mess up somewhere. So, day 28. Skip forward. Um, a card game for two water bottles? Well, we don't even have cards to play. Not that I would do it anyway. I normally always fail that one. So, it ain't even a problem. Alright, let's see here. During one of its insane episodes around 3 last night, Sherikov ran face first into the wall, causing a loose brick to fall out. Behind it was a cigar box with ammunition inside. <laughs> How about that? Thanks a lot, Sherikov. Appreciate it. Um, no, no, you guys are fine. Day 30 will be for water. The other day we heard a quiet knock on the door. When we open, we find a suitcase. Nope. I'm sorry to say, normally whenever I open that suitcase, I get sick. I know there's a possibility you get a good event from it too, but I always get sick, so I'm not gonna trust it out. I'm gonna save that medkit for as long as possible. Um, this is gonna be water day for a fact. So, water for everybody. Then, let's see here. Do I want to send somebody out? Timmy seems pretty good to go out. Let's send Timbo out there. We were admiring the radioactive landscape when we saw a young woman dressed in ragged camel clothing. She had a nasty looking rifle, but she hailed us in a polite enough manner. She claims to be a hunter tracking a big mutated spider. She ran out of ammo. You know, I'm gonna give you that just because I don't have a working gun. And maybe you'll give me something good in return. Um, I see nothing good in return unless it was food or water. Maybe one day we'll find out. Well, hopefully, maybe it's like a, a long-term quest. She comes back and gives you something later. Would be good. So, day 31. Um, If we gave them food on day 25, 32 would be the next food day, right? So, quite hungry. Hasn't eaten in a while. Okay, yeah, I think we could still go to day 32 and be fine with the food. So, skip. Expedition. Timbo was good a while ago, so let's get, try it again. Unfortunately, though, I'm going to send you with nothing, because, um... Everything that we need for the expeditions really is gone. I gotta keep that fire for any sort of defenses back home. Yeah, I'm sorry, son. I, I can't really... I'm going to send you out there barehanded. I hope it works out for you, that's all I can say. I hope it works out. I'm hearing knocking. And today's going to be food day, right? Food. A scientist? Alright, so there it is. Um, We're still on the right path. Yeah, he's a crazy dude. Cooperation. So if I'm right, what we're supposed to do is when he comes back and he asks for water or food, we say no to that. And that leads you on to the other ending. I believe that's how I remember reading it. Alright, so... Water day will be 35. Oh, wait, wait, no. No, yeah, 35. No, wait, wait. When did I give food to, um, Ted? Well, if Ted just ate away everybody right now, right? At day 32. And he had water. Did he have water on day 30 with everybody else? Ooh. Hold up, this is where I should probably... All Ted wishes for are a few drops of water. Have I given this dude water? I think I have. <laughs> I hope I'm not screwing this up. Um, we could trade the chessboard away for... One water. The chessboard could keep us insane, or keep us sane in case we're starting going a bit wacky. But extra water could be very good right now. Alrighty, so we made a deal with the salesman and helped him pack. He strolled away in the wasteland, and we got one water, and he took our chessboard. That's all right. So let's see. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Um, water. Day thirty-five. Day thirty-five. He needs to get a drink right now. Is that like, hey, he's gonna die soon, or could I still push to day 35? Ugh. I could have sworn I gave him water on day 30. He should still be good for day 35, right? I gave him water for day 30, right? Do 
I have to go back to the replay for this if there's some sort of nonsense and tomfoolery? No, it's fine. Okay, good. I knew it. I, I had a feeling like, you know, I hadn't messed this up. There we go. Okay, yeah, I don't care about the army rescuing us. That's fine. So, water for everybody today. Good. Now, food. What have we done about food? Day 37 should be food, right? Yeah, I think day 37 should be food because we had food on day 30, perhaps? So 37 should be for food. The cat disappeared for a short while and came back with a note on its collar. It's being signed by the scientist. He says he's being followed by a couple of weird men in hats and sunglasses, making him temporarily go into hiding. Um, he's going to come back and ask for a cans of food, a soup. And for that, I believe we say no, and that'll take us on to the other ending. I think. All right. So... Anything about food? Stomach's rumbling. Yeah, I think we're going for 37 for the food. So right now we're fine. I've noticed that uh, Timbo isn't back yet. Is uh, Timmy planning to come back or have we lost Timmy for good? Nothing about Tim? No? Well, nothing about Tim thus far. And if we can go out, it means that he's still fine. Usually when they give you a chance to go back out, it means something's probably happened to him. That radio of ours has been silent for the past few hours. We need our news. We need our music. Uh, we all agreed that if it's refusing to cooperate, we need to meddle with it until it works. Um, this could break it, but I feel that if we don't listen to music, there's a possibility it could go insane. We ruined the radio. Of course. At least Timmy's back. <laughs> he came back with a map, so that's cool. But we lost the radio. At this point, we don't need the radio, though, I don't think, so it's whatever. I was hoping that it would not send him insane, just a possibility, but we just broke it instead. We got one can of food. The map, the bug spray, a deck of playing cards. Good God, Timmy just went all out. He went all out. Uh, Timmy should really eat something. I mean, we still owe you a can of food from when you were gone. So I think, and also water apparently too. So... I don't think you could survive in the day 40 for water, or can you? Timmy's really tired. He should, it's not saying anything about water necessarily. But I do know I owe you food. I'm going to give you food for now. I'm um, sending out a out right now. No, we're good. Okay. No. I'm going to say no to the food. Because that'll just take us down to the rocket, the rocket sign or the rocket ending, which we've seen before. Okay. This guy's a bit too nutty. Even by our standards, we'll hold on to our supplies for now. We can always change our minds later. I don't plan to. I really don't plan to. Uh, we're getting water tomorrow. Timmy seems like he could survive one more day for water. So at day 40, we'll give everybody water. And we're good. Nobody going outside? Nope. All right. Day number 40 is here. And what do we got? Fond memories are one thing, but we need to be ready for harsh reality that awaits us. And yeah, water for everybody today. So boom. Um, we went 37 for food, so... <laughs> I could do mad. Uh, 44 would be the next feeding day, allegedly. Really? Seems like we're pushing. We have a lot of food, so maybe we shouldn't push it that much. Maybe we shouldn't push it that much. Maybe we go like 42 instead of 44. It'll be like five days, I believe. Yeah, it'll be five days of 42. I'll just go to 42, because I feel like, um... We're so far into the game that if I start screwing up now, it'd be pretty bad. And we could probably fix the gun now, too. All right. Yep. Gun fixed. Uh, apparently, Mary Jane's got injured somehow. How did Mary Jane get injured? Oh, it fired right into her leg when we were fixing the gun. <laughs> oh, my goodness, God. I'm sorry, Mary Jane. We do have a medkit. I guess we'll probably use that on you. Why not? All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we'll come back next episode and wrap this up. I think... I think. I don't want to get too ahead of myself here, but I think we could probably get the third ending with the next video. So, hopefully we get a little bit of good RNG here, and if you guys want to see the fourth one, I'll give it a try afterwards. Otherwise, we'll just wrap it up here, but I hope you've enjoyed the little comeback to 60 seconds. I will catch you next time.